and friends of childbirth. Today is for me and indeed for all of us who were present when the idea of childbirth was born, a miracle. I think if you had told any of us in those early days of summer 1986 that we would be here with the Princess of Wales in these premises which are going to allow us to expand so that those 10,000 attempted calls we get every day, every single one of them get through. I wouldn't have believed it. But I think we have to pay tribute to a lot of people. I'm not going to thank everybody by name because, Your Royal Highness, there are so many. But first of all, I think the children who trust us, who ring us, who tell us their private pain because they believe that we will be able to help. And our first responsibility is to never to let those children down. Secondly, there's the team of staff here who work, as you've seen, so hard and with such dedication, from the most senior manager to the most junior. I can't think of anyone junior in this establishment. But there is this feeling of service to children. The public who pay for these calls, who make these calls possible because they raise money for us around the country. And British Telecom. Now, when this idea first arrived in BBC offices in 1986, because we'd opened the helplines and the children had jammed them with stories of current sexual abuse, a small group of us went to the offices of the chairman of British Telecom, Sir George Jefferson, explained to him that we believed the telephone itself could be a means of protecting children, and asked him for free phone calls. And he explained that there was no way by law we could have these phone calls, but he said, is there any other way we can help? And I said, firstly, we need a simple number. <coughs> so they took 0800 1111 away from the engineers, who were extremely tolerant, <laughs> and they gave it to us. <laughs> and then they gave us accommodation, at first an office for six people, and then when 50,000 calls jammed our opening night, and we realized we had to expand, they doubled it now. And then when they realized that we desperately needed to be able to train yet more volunteers, they gave us these premises. Thank you for showing such interest in our work from the very beginning. It has mattered so much to all of us that not only that you care for the nation's children, particularly the children who are feeling pain, but that you care and believe in this idea. We really value your support so much. And thank you for allowing us to show our gratitude to BT, who occasionally get knocked by <laughs> consumer <laughs> journalists <laughs> <laughs> and who really have made Childline possible. Thank you very, very much indeed. And I think we'd all love it you to use that if you could make it the official opening of our premises in London. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.